Hey Queens, what's up? It's your girl Queen T here, also known as the one and only fiance coach. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the podcast, make sure you also hit the subscribe button, the fiance diaries podcast that is. All right, ladies. So today um, I'm going to be quick. I'm actually on my way to service. If you usually are uh, following the channel, you know that this is completely a different environment than I usually record in. Um, I was actually sitting here and things were coming across my mind and I was like, you know, I'm going to record that later today. And I always do that. And then when I get home, I have something else that just kind of like becomes like a priority. And then I end up not recording it that day. I end up recording it another day or sometimes ladies, it be topics that I never recorded on because I kind of allowed it to go to the back of my mindset but this is something that I felt like um, I needed to record it so regardless of where I am whether it's in the car uh, whether it's in the grocery store whether it's in my office you know whether it's in a hair salon come on now you know when the, when when something is pressing on the heart and something you feel as though is a priority for the mind especially when it comes to kingdom marriages it doesn't matter where the atmosphere is um, as long as the message is delivered and that the spirit so the spirit can receive it all right ladies so um if you follow the fiance diaries podcast you will know that i actually released a um I released another episode this past Friday called Love Thy Husband, and that was something that I recorded in the car. I recorded in the car, I didn't turn the video on, uh, and I, I forgot it was in drafts. So it was crazy, I was going to go check it and uh, just to see like, okay, um, how many episodes am I in? Like, you know, what are the ratings? How many people have listened to it? And I saw that I had something in drafts called Love Thy Husband. And I recorded it maybe over a month ago. So that's when I it came to my mind that, you know, I, it's okay to record in the car. And it sounded fine. You know, there was nothing wrong with it at all. So here I am. But and when in terms of talking about Love Thy Husband, uh, this is something that's been very, very pressing on the mind, ladies, because... Um, you know, the enemy, he does what he does. He loves to try to steal your joy, kill your spirit, and um, you, he kill your, steal your joy, kill your spirit, and destroy everything, destroy all of your relationships because he likes you to believe what it is that he presents in your mind. And we have to remember that God's thoughts are not our thoughts. And that's something that you always just have to be mindful of. Even your best friend's thoughts, your mom's thoughts, uh, your pastor's thoughts are not God's thoughts. So it's always important for you to be seeking God's wisdom to ensure that you have clarity on things that come to your mind. So um, I've been reading, I actually just finished The Power of a Praying Woman by Stormy Omar Omartin, Omartian. And um, it's, it's a very, very, good book the, the power of a praying wife I believe it is and I just honestly encourage like any woman it doesn't matter what your status is whether you're single um, you're pursuing dating whether you're dating someone whether you're engaged and whether you're married of course but I, I just think that that is a, a huge resource uh, that every woman who is pursuing kingdom marriage should have in her possession whether it be the audio book whether it be the ebook paperback it doesn't matter however the spirit can receive it best for you i think that that's something that you should add to your library and um that book let me tell you it is filled with some powerful prayers and it every chapter just it really breaks down like the different things that a man battles with it's not necessarily a husband a lot of the things that she talked about were things that men battle with before they're even married. But when they're in marriage, it becomes so much more, um, it becomes so much more stronger and effective at trying to damage a man's character. And because of what it's doing internally to that man, it has the uh, capability of affecting of impacting and negatively affecting a marriage and if something is destroying the husband two are one so you know that it's also affecting a wife so my thing is i was like wow like this is really imperative really important um when i talked about love, love thy husband when i 
recorded that I wasn't reading this book so it, I'm telling you everything just comes full circle sometimes and now that I just finished this book and it's like wow I found that draft it was like whoa like this is like really right on time right now um ladies yes make sure that you check out the podcast so you can listen to that love thy husband maybe i'll figure out a way to upload it on youtube it just won't be a video i, I don't know maybe i don't know I, i'm not really good i could probably put together like a slideshow or something to make it interesting i, I just don't i'm one of those people when i go on youtube i like a, a nice video to go with it and if it's nothing there, it kind of doesn't really keep my attention. But who knows? It, it Maybe somebody who doesn't have access to the podcast, they might only have YouTube. So uh, just, just lay it on my heart that God allows me to send it to YouTube. But anyway, Love Thy Husband, it came up because a lot of times us women feel as though we immediately go to Ephesians 5. Um, it starts at 21 where it tells husbands and wives you know how to um, love one another um, have submit to one another out of reverence to the Lord it tells husbands love your wife as Christ loved the church and it tells women to respect thy husband um, and it's, I've heard some women say the Bible don't even say I need to love my husband you know it just say I need to respect my husband and some men will say okay love for them is respect so okay Respect looks differently for us than it does for men. Whoever you're dating or married to, you'll have to ask them, how, what is it that I, that I can do to show you that I respect you? And I'm telling you, some of the things these men might say might shock you. You know, it's the little things us women do. It's like, oh, I do this because I love him. He, he don't see it that way, sis. See, look at this, try. Mm -hmm, destroy my joy. Anyway, <laughs> he don't see it that way, sis. He just see it as it's just something you're doing. So make sure that the things that you're doing, he actually feels respected. But I brought up love thy husband because there was a scripture in 1 Peter and it literally told the wives to love your husband. And it says something about the wife's, char the wife's character being able to have a positive influence on the husband. And I, I really think I put in that positive word but it was basically saying like being kind so that you can win your husband over um if your husband is you know it, it goes down to a lot of things like maybe your husband's like battling with depression maybe your husband's like battling with his self-image or his masculinity and a lot of this stuff can stir up from childhood believe it or not a lot of us have trauma from our past and I think as women, we're much more vulnerable and able to talk about the things that affect us, but men, not so much. So that's why I bring this up. Um, this is like a second sequel to Love Thy Husband. And um, I, I just really want you ladies to know that this is something that I think I need to dive deeper, deeper on, especially the power of a praying woman, a praying wife. I keep saying a praying woman. The power of a praying wife. And um, maybe I need to like dedicate some of these next few episodes to these key topics that she put in the book. I mean, we're talking about uh, your husband's faith. We're talking about your husband's, um, his repentance. We're talking about your husband's um, being delivered. We're talking about your husband's um, masculinity. We're talking about your husband. It, it's so deep, y'all. And it, and I love, I love transparency. You know, that's exactly why I started this ministry. It, it's all about transparency because sometimes, especially in the world of Christianity, we're so busy looking at what other people are doing wrong that we're not able to be transparent and show people that, hey, I struggle with that as well. Here's how I went about getting through it. You know, here's how I made it to the other side. And that's big because I think some people are, we struggle so much with wanting to be perfect. Um, somebody said it, I don't know, I'm taking this from someone, this was not my original thought. They said that they're a recovering perfectionist. Yes, I am a recovering perfectionist as well. I still struggle with wanting things to be perfect and when they aren't perfect, I'm beating myself up internally in the mind. Um, so this is this is really important, ladies. This is really important. This is something that we can't just let side saddle and get away from us. Prayer is real. Loving and respecting your husband is real. You do have the ability to 
influence your husband in a positive manner. You know, it's certain things you do. It's certain things you say. It, it's, it's, it's what you're actually digging into prayer with. You, you have to use your prayers in an effective manner. It can't just be, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Yes, that is prayer. That is making sure that you're spending time with Christ. But I'm telling you, new levels, new devils. Your prayers have to be specific. Your prayers have to be specific. You have to be a woman who is who is the prayer warrior of her household. Your husband is the pastor of your household, but you can be the prayer warrior of your household. Because I'm telling you, the enemy... Who he wants to attack is your husband, not just your marriage. He wants to attack the men specifically because he knows that in the lineage, there's God, there's there's man, and then there's woman. And I'm not saying it as like the men are over top of us and things like that because God says that we are equal. But when it comes to a marriage, yes, God is going to speak to your husband. And he also will speak to you when your husband has a hard heart. So you have to know that prayer for you is the best way that you can soften your husband's heart, that you can fight the battles of his mind that he, when he doesn't even realize that he's under attack. You are the person who is qualified to do that. You do not want your husband going and, you know, uh, talking to other women so that they can start praying for him. No, no, no. You pray for your own husband, okay? And, you know, you can bring some sisters in Christ into a group with you and y'all can say, come on, let's pray for these husbands. And I'm not just talking about married women. I'm, I'm bringing this up because I think that this is something that needs to be done before you're even married. You need to prepare. You need to prepare. So let's prepare together. Um, this was quick. I literally just parked that church and I'm maybe like five, 10 minutes late. So I'm going to walk into service. Just wanted to tell y'all, happy Sunday. Let y'all know that we are walking into a new season. And this season is specifically about preparation for prayer in your marriage. Preparation for prayer for your husband. And we are walking into kingdom marriages and we cannot walk into kingdom marriages if we aren't equipped with the weapons that God has provided us with. All right, ladies, I love y'all. Stay encouraged, be blessed. Make sure you share this episode with a best friend, an auntie, or somebody who may be going through a struggle in a marriage. You know, maybe they don't know the Lord, but it's never too late for them to know the Lord. All right, so I love you ladies. Stay encouraged and um, it's your girl, Queen. T, the fiance coach connecting you to your true wife goals. Let's roll. Peace.